What's going on guys? Tiger here with Tiger Uppercut Media coming at you with another unboxing video today. So I know a lot of you come to my channel mainly for the Dokkan stuff and the gaming related stuff. And if you can look at my most popular videos, like the unboxing ones are nowhere to be found. They usually get around like a couple hundred, maybe a thousand views at best. And you know the Dokkan stuff gets a lot more views, a lot more traffic. But at the end of the day, I know that there are some of you that come to my channel for the unboxing stuff as well. You guys are big figure collectors just like me. And you guys enjoy stuff like this, so I'm going to keep making these. And as long as they're fun to me, you know, they're going to be a thing on the channel. So I hope you guys that do like this stuff enjoy this video. And, uh, oh, also want to mention that I am running an Instagram contest right now to give away a SH Figure Super Saiyan Trunks figure. So if you guys are interested in that, then definitely head over to my Instagram account, it's at Tiger Uppercut Media is the handle. Follow that, subscribe to the channel, and also leave a comment on the video. I'll put, it, uh, put a link in the description down below for that video as well, so if you guys are interested in that, you can enter the contest. The winner will be announced sometime next week. And uh, yeah, that's all I want to say. Let's jump into the unboxing now. We're going to be unboxing this uh, Ben Presto Master Stars Super Saiyan Trunks from the first time he showed up in the anime, you know, when he basically like turned Super Saiyan and slashed the shit out of Frieza. So this is one of my most anticipated figures because uh, this is the first time we were introduced to Trunks and that's when he became my favorite character in Dragon Ball Z and still pretty much is to this day. So uh, I am really excited to unbox this. Hope you guys are excited as well. Let's take a quick look at the box before we get started. So here's a view of the front. There's a view of the side right there. Got the back. Other side, pretty similar, and then you got the top and bottom. Okay, so I'm gonna pull out my knife here and crack this bad boy open. There we go. So, there's a funny story with this figure actually. So, uh, oh, there's some more tape on the sides here. I uh, actually ordered it on Amazon probably like, I don't know, like maybe three, four months ago, and the estimated shipping time was a month, right? And I was like, that's pretty long, but you know, they're shipping it from Japan, so I kind of understand. And uh, we've got the box open now. But basically, it was like two months later, and I still didn't get anything in the mail yet, and I was like, guys, like, where's my damn figure, right? And they're like, oh, it must have got lost in shipping or something, and uh, they basically refunded me, and they're like, really, really sorry about that, but... What happened was that I got my money back and then like two months later, which is like recently, this came in the mail. So I don't know what happened. I guess, I guess it got majorly delayed, but basically I got this figure for free. Um, I mean, no fault of my own, right? I thought it was like lost. I was happy to spend the money for it. But anyways, that's what happened. So we got this figure for free. Um, guess it was a happy coincidence. I don't know, but here we, got, here we go. We got the figure here. Uh, basically, it's just broken up into a few pieces. So you got like a little head, like upper body piece here, a lower body piece here, and then also uh, his sword as well as a little stand. So I'll open this up and show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. Alright, so this is Trunks' head. Hope you guys can see this clearly. He's got his hair all wrapped up in some bubble wrap. Looks pretty funny to me. So I'm going to get this off so you can get a, get a better look at his hair. There we go. So it looks pretty sweet. Um, the hair is like a golden, like not quite yellow. It's almost like, I don't know, like tinted, you know, like a shiny, shiny gold color. So some people have complained that this doesn't look, you know, quite as accurate as they would like to the anime. But honestly, I kind of like it. Um, so no complaints for me there. And also, you know, details on the hair, the jacket, like the folds in the jacket. Um, everything looks really good to me, so I got no complaints. I'm gonna put this to the side and pull out his bottom half. There we go. So there are Trunks' legs. Not much to see here, but again, same thing with the detail and the painting. Really, really good. And uh, the, you know, the cost of this figure is actually quite cheap. Oh, there's a little bit of plastic hanging off on the side. Not a big deal. So we've just pulled that off. But uh, the cost is actually not that crazy for this figure, so I actually picked it up on Amazon uh, Canadian for about $45, um, and you can probably get it in the US for even less than that, maybe 30 bucks. So as a figure of this quality, I think it's pretty reasonably priced. Um, so we're going to put this together now. Boom, there we go. Uh, just, all you have to do is just, you know, 
kind of slot it in there and we got that done and then you just pull out his sword give me one second there we go so there's a little sword piece hope you guys can see it clearly i can never tell if the camera is fully focused because uh, it's a little bit far from me but you know we'll see we'll see in post editing right so there's the sword it's not the full sword because all you have to do is slide this into his back here there's the back of trunks here's the sword we're gonna slide it in right there boom sword in and that's pretty much the figure guys so i'm gonna give you guys a little close up hopefully that works yes looks in focus all right there's the front side back and other side so the purpose of these videos at least for me is to show you guys who are interested in buying this specific figure whether or not you like how it looks um, and whether you think it's worth the money and you know stuff like that before you make that investment um, and also it's just for collectors and fans of figures and Dragon Ball Z to kind of share in this experience and just have a lot of fun together but uh, in my opinion figure looks freaking awesome um, no paint defects really uh, you know all the detailing on the clothing on his face on his hair the sword all looks freaking awesome so to me, this figure is a 10 out of 10. If you guys are interested, definitely go pick it up. Drop some cash. It's really not that expensive, and uh, figures can really go for a lot more. If you're a big Trunks fan like me, it's a no-brainer, guys. And, oh, there's also a little stand in here where you can slide it onto his foot to keep him stable. But unless it's uh, on a surface that moves a lot, you really don't have to worry about that too much. But uh, to show you guys anyway, it's a little clear plastic piece. All you have to do is slide it on his foot like that there you go and uh he should be stable so you know withstanding like a magnitude six plus earthquake this guy should be should be good to go so <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed my unboxing I i'm gonna say it's an unboxing it's not really a review because i don't really go too much into detail like a lot of these other professional people who like know a lot about um figures and stuff like that but um nonetheless i want to share this experience with you guys hope you guys liked this unboxing and let me know if you guys want to see more stuff like this because I do have more stuff coming in and if you guys enjoy it then I want to provide that content for you you know so um, that is it for today hope you guys like the video as you know if you like the video then you should like the damn video and if you are new to my channel and you like Dragon Ball Z you like anime you like gaming all that good stuff and figures of course then consider subscribing to the channel and stay tuned for more awesome content. As always, hope you guys have a fantastic day. This was Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out. <laughs>